good evening. The downsides of entrepreneurship. That's what I'm going to be talking about tonight. Have you ever had people ridicule you for what you are trying to do here or doing here uh, and say to you, it will never work, yeah, that you're going to fail and it's a scam. So that's what I'm going to be talking about tonight. Um, if you didn't know me already, my name's Adele Booth and I help um, entrepreneurs, business owners, marketers that are using social media to get more customers and sales that are coming their way, build thriving businesses online so that you can get the income that you want and have that lifestyle that you want. So um, yeah, the downsides of entrepreneurship. And you know what? If you haven't heard um, those things like you're never going to make this, this is a scam, this is fail, you know, it will happen, I can, I can assure you. If you're online, you will get those haters and naysayers. And it's just part of what we do online. But in my case, I heard it from people that I loved, yeah, that I thought believed in me, yeah, and that's painful, right, yeah, that I, you know, I was banking on their support to get me through my business journey and when I first set off. But actually I found that I lost a lot of friends and my best friend, yeah. And at first I tried to explain again what I was doing here, you know, training professionally to market online, yeah, and uh, coach people. And they just didn't get it, yeah. It didn't matter what I said, um, the more I tried to explain, the worse the scenario became, the more that person reacted, right? So I just ended up shutting up and thinking, this is getting nowhere fast and I was very angry and felt really betrayed, yeah? Somebody that I trusted that, um, you know, I've encouraged <laughs> and supported all my, you know, sort of throughout our friendship. And, oh, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it, you, you see a different side of somebody. And I, you know, I got the encouragement at first, but every now and again, I get, get a little bit of a dig out of them. Um, like, things like, when are you gonna see a return on your investment, Adele? Um, and you've been working so hard, um, you know, you're not seeing the results that you want, you know, and then eventually that person just blurted out what they actually thought, yeah? Tried to give me some tough love, which is exactly the opposite <laughs> to what they should have been doing, right? And it was in the time of lockdown. So um, I had to think, yeah, how am I gonna handle this? I mean, this this is like, um, you know, a, a really bad time <laughs> that I went through. But there are other varying levels of people and how they speak to, to you, yeah. So what, I, what did I do, yeah? What did I do? What would you do? Yeah, what would you do in this situation? Have you come across this before? Let me know how you've dealt with this um, in your business and whether people are, you know, uh, bad mouthing you, whether they're just putting, running you down or whether you're saying that they never work, that it's a pyramid scheme, whatever, yeah? I had to revert to who am I? Who am I becoming, yeah, to do what I need to do, yeah? Uh, to reach my goals, yeah, because that's ultimately, it's my life. I create my own life and I create the way I do my life, yeah. And how am I getting getting there, yeah? What do I need to do, yeah? And do I need, actually, these people in my life? <laughs> they're not serving me, are they? They're just causing me anger and pain and frustration and they're not supporting me and I, you know, supporting them in their lives. So what did I do to that person? I think, you know, we, what do we do to those people? Yeah, it's hard not to care about people and also also caring um, about what people say, because ultimately it's a, that is it, what, what pe are people saying about you? But I've been through enough in my life to know that it actually isn't about me, it's about them, yeah? And um, when somebody criticizes you, uh, we, yeah, we, we, we have to kind of not react. <laughs> it, it's, it's about not reacting. 
uh, because it's it is about them and what's going on on for them yeah and success actually threatens people change thresh threatens people yeah the fear of the unknown um, it threatens people and the fear of people changing um, and not knowing how the relationship will go in the future um, uh, and that and I get it you know some of that is around themselves but also that, that they are actually not good enough then they're not good enough to you know be alongside me um, not having the same I don't know financial freedom goals yeah that I'm seeking to in a different level and it's about stepping into for me, I know that I've stepped into what the average person just doesn't do in their lives, yeah? And that makes people very uncomfortable, yeah? It makes me uncomfortable. It made me uncomfortable in the first, but then I kind of, kind of thinking, well, you know, uh, <laughs> I have got what it takes, yeah? And it's um, r rather than people applauding you, what they do then is... is um, it, it, you know, they, they run you down and, and it is hurtful. So you will lose people along the way and those relationships may not ever be recoverable and that's absolutely okay. I know, you know, and in these times as well, it's strange and unpredictable, uh, but that's life, right? That is life, right? To keep moving forward day after day after day and, um, and not letting criticism um, affect that is a huge thing to do, yeah, for yourself. You know, only focus, I'm telling you, <laughs> only focus on those people that are, are successful already, yeah, because they'll understand and they'll pull, pull you along with them, yeah, they'll want to take that journey with you they'll want to encourage you they will believe in you because they know what sex, sex success is like yeah and never be drawn into those negative people never go there yeah don't even go there or you know we don't need to seek approval from people we are you know we seek approval from ourselves and um i want to pursue my financial goals don't you yeah do you want to uh, you, you know reach your financial goals your success and independence then it only comes from you and how you manage these situations which is another why another reason why um, building your business online you know using social media attraction marketing like I have you know it was a choice that I made I made that choice I had an idea I made that choice and I went for it and I stuck by it yeah and that's what's uncomfortable is because it is the unknown and and it's fight you know kind of that it's like finally all the pieces come together and you find the right people coming to you being attracted to you and wanting to do what you you know you want you you've, you're doing yourself yeah so it's necessary to kind of um, acknowledge that you know we're in the minority here and there will be people that will criticize us yeah that will um run us down yeah but we can walk away and we we don't need those people in our lives okay we have those choices to make and we need to keep focus on our goals our destinations our financial freedom our independence and we can do it without those people and there's lots of people that will support you that is, you know knows know what it's like uh, to need, need that support through that time including me so please reach out to me and um, follow your dreams yeah follow what you want to do no matter what anybody else is saying because only you know whether this is for you and if you've got an idea like I did I latched on and I hooked on to this training that I've you know our, you know the traction marketing formula um, and if you want that just hit me up yeah say yeah yes please I'll have the um, attraction marketing formula from you and get yourself on that route because once you've got an idea you can follow it through you can learn the skills that you need to develop any business online but it takes you and your potential your belief in yourself everybody else it doesn't matter you don't need that acknowledgement from them or reassurance 
Okay, so I hope that's been useful today. Um, keep doing what you're doing right. And I shall see you again tomorrow. Um, and just keep getting out there, believing in yourself. Yeah, you can do this. Yeah, you are good enough. And um, there's plenty of us out there that are doing it. Take care now. Loads of love to you. Bye for now.